Hello everyone, Shaman Sin here and today I'm showing you how to install Tripwire Intrusion Detection System on your Debian system. This tutorial will also work on your Ubuntu systems or any Debian based uh, Linux distribution. And um, most of the configuration part will work on most Linux distributions. So to install it, we'll go apt-get install Tripwire. So now we'll go through the settings, uh, sorry, the uh, installation configuration part. So we'll say OK in the beginning. So we want, we need to create a site key and a local key. These are two encrypted keys that uh, are used for authentication. So we're going to say yes, we want to create. Okay. Now click OK. So we want to create our local key and rebuild the configuration file so say yes now these are encrypted keys and um, as far as I know cannot be recovered so if you forget your key you either have to reinstall the app um, or um, uh, that's about that I think that's the only way and actually it actually tells you remember the password is not stored anywhere so be sure to remember your passphrase and for security they should be different okay so that will generate the encrypted key it takes about a minute and tripwire has been installed now we're going to go through a basic in uh, basic installation so the very first thing we'll do is tripwire initialize and uh, it's tripwire dash dash initialize or INIT it'll ask for your passphrase that you just put in put in the passphrase and this will generate database so right now what it's going to do is do some backend uh, checks so give it a minute okay so now it's gonna give you this output here and what I suggest you do is copy this into a text editor or text uh, text pad okay because pretty much what happens is is that in the database so I'll show you in a minute here okay, so we now will check the configuration file so nano etc tripwire tw pull dot text so in this file, um, this is the configuration file for Tripwire. And if you come here, these are the directories that Tripwire has in its database and that it's going to monitor. So for instance, I don't have uh, uh, etc rc6.d. So what we'll have to do is comment out the files and folders that aren't, um, that the configur default configuration has that we don't use or else what's going to happen is, is that we're going to get false positives saying that for instance <clears throat> the root.elm fo folder is either gone missing or it's been edited so we need to comment out what's not in use so that's where this comes along so we'll go through this quickly uh, you'll see for instance uh, rc.boot mail 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 these are folders that aren't in my system, so you have to comment them out. So, like so, just comment them out. Okay, this is a headless install, so pretty much you know that GNOME won't be there, ELM won't be there. Okay, the X, the address books, Amanda host. You'll just follow this. Okay, you know, see X resources not there, 
cash rc elm i'm just able to know that i can pretty much comment these out just by experience so bash profile you know it's will be there cash rc casrc you can uh, So now after you've commented out all the things that you won't use, and I think uh, we missed up here, so these guys we don't have. Okay. Now you also want to comment out var lock and var run. Okay. And proc. The reason why var lock and var run is that those change a lot. So without having that, without uh, commenting commenting those out, what's going to happen is, is that you can run into a lot of false positives <coughs> uh, because you have, like for instance, on run, there are a lot of things that are on when Tripwire does his check, and a lot of things may be off. Like for instance, uh, the comment even here says is daemon process IDs. So those change all the time right so okay so go ahead after you've done your checks you can go ahead and save the file control O, control X okay and now what we want to do is commit the changes so TW admin and then you want to do dash M dash capital P and then you're going to do slash ETC slash tripwire TW pull dot txt and what this does will uh, give me a moment here I put equals P and this will commit the changes that we've done Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. It looks like uh, it's not attack; it's actual capital P. I'm trying to do most of this from memory. Okay, and then I'll ask for your passphrase again. So just put that in, and now the policy has been created. So you'll do trip wire dash dash check, and what that'll do is go ahead and create or check the policy um, but before you actually do check let me step back here you'll do initialize first okay. and then we'll just wait for the processing to finish okay so it looks like we uh, missed one folder here but that's fine um, you can always just go back and uh, and comment that out but for now just for this demonstration we know that we have our um, we have it all checked like our configuration we just got to modify it one more time so all you would do is just go back and um, comment out bash uh, root dot bash underscore profile okay so this is the report that you're going to get okay um, this will tell you uh, what's been modified what's been added removed these are this is the profile so now what you can do is actually have a mail set up to you uh, uh, or what you can do actually what I do is have a cron job um, in your cron tab folder and what you can do is just put uh, I what I do is have mine um, I have mine go ahead and email me using SSMTP 
so I can cat certain things along with it but you know you could do something like at 3 a.m. so this is uh, you can actually use this and then you do user s bin trip wire and then pretty much you're going to do check and then you can pipe it to let's say your mail and then uh, from mail you can do a subject of you know trip wire report Okay, so pretty much this is saying run Tripwire, do a check, and email me what we saw on the previous screen here. And just in case, you'll get this in the mail. So I hope that uh, was helpful for someone wanting to install Tripwire. Sorry if, uh, if I sound kind of choppy today. Um, trying to, a lot of this configuration, uh, as you know, it's not a really apparent configuration. So I, uh, I had to look up a couple of the commands but you get the picture pretty much uh, tripwire is a pretty good uh, IDS once configured properly I find it to be one of the best uh, for your Debian system especially being a free IDS and how granular you can get I strongly encourage you to look up uh, the tripwire website uh, by googling tripwire to find out all its full potential this is just the tip of the iceberg what for what this IDS can do Please, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, you can visit my website, seanmancini.com. Thank you.